Pentecost 2023. Spending all the time thinking about you. Laying days away just thinking about you, love. Yeah. We ain't tripping. And I don't care what they say. I don't care what they talk about. Don't you know? Don't you know? Don't you know? Spending all my time just thinking about you. They spending all their time. Years a trauma, trauma, trauma sickness, mental illness, wickedness upon us, eugenics, self hate, single baby mamas, single baby mamas. some sleep, some woke, relocate to Ghana, change our scenery, thievery, identities were stolen from stolen our enemies, our inner peace from the one that called your chosen, your ability to rise up, never question durability, reflection of our master, that's a great responsibility. Created in this symmetry, awaiting our delivery. When you rest within your master, while it came in close proximity, never bow down to the imagery. Never. So many traitors in captivity. We so focused on the Jews, overlooking black nobility, and that's crazy. That's so crazy. They spending all their time speaking about you. Uh. We ain't tripping no, no. Enemies wanna violate us Fuck concerned with chasing paper Big booties and cloud chases Howdy roots, flirtation Crooked lines, no straightness Status quo, entertainers Never catch up making payments Never. New enslavement, pocket changes Frowned upon, so ungracious Women only had two mites Never let them define your greatness Be tenacious, live with patience I don't care, wealthy or waitress it don't Hypocrisy, matter. the new normal Idolatry and bad behaviors Making changes, what direction? Good or evil, hesitation Only leads to lukewarm Complacency is so Contagious, we can see the great divide. Our people deceive from words fallacious. We gon' see you who to rise. You who to rise. gonna restore his nation. Facts. Yeah, they spend all their time speaking about you. We ain't tripping though. Nah. We don't care what they talking about. Don't you know? Shalom, everybody. Shabbat shalom. All praise to the Most High for allowing us to see another day of Pentecost. Yes, sir. Uh, we're going to get started. We're going to start our first with a uh, prayer, and then we'll get into a short lesson, and then we'll feast. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name.
The first scripture we're going to start off with is Leviticus 23, verses 15. All right, family. We're going to be reading in the book of Leviticus, chapter 23, start the reading in verse 15. And ye shall count unto you from the morrow after the Sabbath, from the day that ye brought the sheaf of the wave off, seven Sabbaths shall be complete. How many Sabbaths? Seven Sabbaths shall be complete. So after the pass, are we supposed to count seven complete Sabbaths? Come on. Even until the morrow after the seventh Sabbath shall ye number 50 days. How many days? 50 days. And that's why they call it Pentecost, because Pentecost means 50th day or count 50. So you, you, you number seven complete Sabbaths, and then the day after the seventh Sabbath, we, we arrive at the day of Pentecost. Come, right. come on. And you shall offer a new meat offering unto the Most High. Okay, so again, seven complete Sabbaths, and the day after the morrow, or the day after the seventh Sabbath, would be the 50th day, which would be Pentecost. <laughs> All right, family, the book of Acts, chapter 2. And verse 1. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come. The day of what? The day of Pentecost was fully come. Uh-huh. They were all with one accord in one place. And when it's talking about they all, it's referring to the apostles. Because the Messiah gave them instructions to wait at Jerusalem. So they was all in one place on the day of Pentecost. Come on. Verse 2. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. Uh -huh. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire, and it sat upon each of them. Mm -hmm. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And they were all filled with what? With the Holy Ghost. So they were all filled with the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost. Come on. And began to speak with other tongues, uh -huh. as the Spirit gave them utterance. Mm -hmm. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. Out of every nation under heaven. Why? Because the commandment was on the day of Pentecost, or what they called in the Old Testament, um, the Feast of First Fruits. We were all supposed to come to Jerusalem and present ourselves three times a year before the Lord. So this was one of the holy days that we had to present ourselves before the Lord in Jerusalem. Come on. Verse 6. Now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. In his own what? In his own language. Uh-huh. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galilean? Mm -hmm. And how hear we every man in our tongue, wherein we were born? Parthians, and Medes, and Elamites, and the dwellers in Mesopotamia, and in Judea, and in Cappadocia, and Pontus, and Asia, Phrygia, and Pamphylia, in Egypt and in all parts of Libya and Cyrene, and strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes, Cretes and Arabians, we do hear them speak in our terms the wonderful works of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. And they were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another, what meaneth this? Right, so they not even understanding what's going on. You know what I'm saying? They just heard... You know, the apostles speaking in all different type of languages. And they and they wondering, like, what's going on? Come on. Verse 13. Others mocking said, these men are full of new wine. Mm -hmm. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them, Ye men of Judea, and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you and hearken to my word. For these are not drunken, as ye suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. Mm -hmm. But this 
is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. By who? The prophet Joel. Uh huh. Come on. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith Yah, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, mm -hmm. and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions. And your old men shall dream dreams. Mm -hmm. And on my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. So the twelve disciples were the first fruits, so to speak, of receiving the Holy Spirit. And then it was poured out to everybody else. But he was saying, like, nah, these men ain't drunk. You know what I'm saying? This is what was prophesied by the uh, prophet Joel. In the last days, that the Most High was going to pour His Spirit out on His children. So this was what we were saying, you know what I'm saying? And this will happen on the day of Pentecost, 50 days after the Passover. So you know, this time from Passover all the way up into now, we should have been cleansing our spirit and getting ready to receive the Spirit of the Most High. That's right. So with that being said, we're gonna hold that right there, and we're gonna get this last scripture, and then we'll feast. Uh, First Corinthians, uh, chapter 15. First Corinthians chapter 15, starting verse 12, 12 through like 22. Going to be reading in the book of First Corinthians, chapter 15, start the reading in verse 12. Now if Hamashiach be preached that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Hamashiach not risen? Right. And if Hamashiach be not risen, then is our preaching vain? Our preaching is what? Vain? Our preaching is worthless. You know what I'm saying? We wasting our time. Come on. And your faith is vain also? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we are found false witnesses of Yah. Because we have testified of Yahweh that he raised up Hamashiach. Whom he raised not up. If so be that, the dead rise not. For if the dead rise not, then is not Hamashiach raised? And if Hamashiach be not raised, your faith is vain. Ye are yet in your sin. Ye are yet in your what? In your sin. Uh huh. Then they also, which are fallen asleep in Hamashiach, are perished. Right. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are all men most miserable. Mm -hmm. But now is Hamashiach risen from the dead. So Christ is risen from the dead. Well, Come on. Yeah. And become yeah. the first fruit of them that slept. Or uh, he's the first fruit of the resurrection. Yes, sir. Come on. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. That's right. For as in Adam, all die. How many die? All die. We all die in Adam. Come on. Even so, in Hamachiah, shall all be made alive. That's right. But every man in his own order. In his own way. His own order. Come on. Hamachiah, the first fruits. Again, Christ is the first fruit. Come on. Of the resurrection, my bad. Afterward, they that are Hamachiahs. At his coming. So you see that? So Christ is the first fruit of the resurrection. And, you know, so that's just basically what Pentecost is. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Dan, you them did an in-depth lesson yesterday. We don't want to, you know, basically beat a dead horse. But, you know, we did want to go over something before we, you know, eat physically. We want to eat spiritually. So with that being said, let's get our feast on, y'all. And let's finish enjoying this day. All praise to the Most High. Yes, sir. His only forgotten son. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 2023 Feast of Pentecost, Christ being the first fruits of the resurrection of the dead, keep the commandments and live. Shalom is red. Shalom family, happy feast day. Shalom family, happy 2023 Feast of Pentecost, all praise to the Most High, blessed day, and we, we enjoying ourselves. All praise to the Most High. Shalom family, eating good food, all praise to the Most High, happy feast day. May we have many feast days in the future.
All praise to the Most High. Hey, happy feast day to the worldwide family, to all of Israel scattered abroad. Shout out to my family down there in Dallas, Texas. My brother, um, Ak Lamar, my brother Ak B and family. Peace and love, peace and blessings. Happy feast of Pentecost, shalom. Uh, no, feast of Pentecost play right here. You see that we got the burger on top, all then we lawful. got the potato sauce. Right, all lawful. Yeah. The potato yeah. salad, the uh, coleslaw. We got the lamb right there, and we got the uh, salmon. Look at all that. Look at all that right there, y'all. Oh, yeah. Muscatoli, we got all that. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> all praises. All praises. Happy Feast of Pentecost. All them male kills a dick. We just want to wish everyone a happy feast, feast day. All oh, praises to the Most High, y'all. There's only begotten Son. Happy Feast Day. One love. The Most High is holding you guys the sun. Another feast day, 2023. Happy feast day, feast of Pentecost to the worldwide assembly. Hallelujah. For a tribe, giving all praise to our Elohim for another blessed feast day. Happy fin uh, day of Pentecost to the worldwide assembly. To all the Gentiles joined into our faith in our household, may the Most High and His Holy Begotten Son continue to bless you, have mercy, and bless your household. Bow up, y'all. Happy Feast of Pentecost, family. One love and all praises to the Most High, y'all. First try. Happy Pentecost to uh, everyone. Fourth try. Worldwide. Felicia, the photographer, look. I'm snapping, Tobias snapping. <laughs> Happy Feast Day. Woo -hoo. First of all, I want to say all power, glory, and honor to the Most High. Y'all seen me through this hard times here. I didn't politely uh, thank everybody the last time I got on camera, so I'm going to try it again this time. I thank God Almighty who had a hand in this operation that took care of me. I thank Jesus Christ, I'm a shield and a comforter because they held my hand. All praises. But most of all, I want to thank the Worldwide Assembly for all their prayers and all their loves and the phone calls and the text messages. All those things, they all helped in my recovery. I'm at 93%. I ain't ready to dance or play basketball yet, but I'm getting there. But I do, again, once again, want to thank each and every last one of you for your prayers and your thoughts. Thank you, and may God bless all of us and all of you. Shalom, this is what it's all about. His commandments are not grievous, see? We're having a beautiful time here with family. Happy Feast Day. Shalom. Happy Feast Day, family. May the Most High continue to bless us with many, many more. Hallelujah. To all of you wonderful people out there trying to live a life separated and set, set apart on this holy feast day of the Most High Yah, Pentecost 2023, we are giving him praise, all praise to the Most High and his only begotten Son. Keep the commandments of God's right. Yahoo. What can I I'm say? preparing myself for this domino tournament going to go down. Oh, that's what it is. I hate to bash heads on the empty uh, stomach, baby. <laughs> say it again. Say you eating, you eating for, for the domino for tournament. For the domino tournament. Yes, yes. And uh, to be honest, I got to get full because I just want to see the look on their face when they lose. <laughs> Happy uh, Feast Day, Happy Pentecost. I thank the Most High Yah for blessing me and my family to be here. I thank Him for opening my eyes and teaching me the way. Thank you, Father, for saving my life. I love my brothers and my sisters in this world, and I pray that we can make it to the mountaintop together. Hallelujah. <laughs> You want to say something? You want to say shalom to the family? Say shalom to happy peace Say shalom, family. <laughs> happy feast of Pentecost. Blessings, glory, and honor to the King who did it again on our behalf. Hallelujah! He's merciful. Enjoy with all the family here. Every time I come here, there's something different. I love it. Every time I come here, I just have a great time. To all my brothers, 
I love it. I just love it. One day I told you I want to go to Mexico and tell you all about it. But my other family. Shalom, brother. Say all praises to the Most High Yah, the yellow hand of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Down here in the STL, man, bringing in another Feast of Pentecost 2023. Doing it like we do in the Show Me State, man. We love y'all family abroad. Wish you was here, and we looking forward to seeing y'all at the Hebrew Israelite Awards show in August. Looking for y'all down here. The Bruise and the Lou is looking for you. Hallelujah. Happy okay. Feast Day 2023. I want to say hallelujah to all the family. John? Hallelujah. John, something for the camera? That's you. Yeah, he, he already said something. He said he was eating for that whooping he was going to put on you I was going to say, well, he said too much. <laughs> uh, happy Pentecost. All praise to the most high. There's only who got the sun. I just want to wish you all a happy holy holiday. Shalom. Happy Feast Day. It's all good. Happy Feast Day. All praises to the Most High. We are here enjoying this wonderful day uh, by the orders of the Most High, following what he says do, all right? Enjoying his feast days, which are the best days, all right? None of this other craziness out there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, yes, now sir. <laughs> Happy Feast of 2023. And as you can see, none of this is grievous. People always ask about, you know, what you Hebrews be doing. Y'all don't do no holidays and y'all don't do this and this. But we do all the commandments of the Most High. That's right. The feast days, the holy days, and it's not grievous. Right. One love, family. His assignments. <laughs> all praise to the Most High and His only begotten Son. Happy Feast of Pentecost, family. Remembering the disciples getting them holy, fiery tongues so that they can preach the word to all nations and all creatures as in Matthew 28 and 19 and Mark 16 and 16. Let us keep the feast, family. One love. Shalom. <laughs> Continue to pray for her because all your prayers are being felt and we know that that's y'all sister and that y'all love her and we pray and ask you for continued prayers for her. We thank the most high because we're waiting for his will to be done and she's getting better. Hallelujah. Happy uh, Feast of Pentecost 2023. Shalom to the worldwide family. One love to all. Happy Feast of Week, Zaya. Giving all praise to the Most High, Yah, once again. 2023, let us keep these set apart days. Be thankful for the law, statutes, and commandments, and the Ruach Hokodesh that the Most High blessed us with. Happy Pentecost. Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Goodbye. So wonderful. My ya you are, so wonderful, oh my so wonderful, my ya you are, so wonderful, holy, holy, holy,
first of me, we bow down, we gon' serve And your face, we gon' forever search We singing holy So wonderful. So wonderful. 